Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is vlog number 16. Okay. I just want to start off right away by thanking all of you for watching for the last 16 weeks following the journey because it gives me so much joy to share it with all of you. Thank you so, 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 so much. So the first two months of the year have been killer, bellissimo. They've been just so wonderful for me and I'm so grateful for them. That being said, in the prolific words of our beloved Bridget Jones, it is a truth universally acknowledged that when one part of your life starts going okay, another falls spectacularly to pieces. I started the year by sharing with all of you my weight loss journey. At the end of that vlog, I also shared my current goals with all of you, where I said I want to be at this weight, I want to lift this, I want to do that. Da, da, da. Obviously, when you're at the beginning of the year, when you're so excited and you're so full of beans and you're like, I'm gonna do this, I am the awesomest, awesome person in the world, you tend to forget that life happens and that you can't exactly be training like a ninja and having 14 hour days every day and barely having a weekend, not sleeping enough, vlogging weekly, making content and still feel like you can get to your fitness goal. You're just living in fuzzy puppy life. Just because I haven't been at like 3000% when it comes to working out, eating right and getting to my body goals, it doesn't mean that I can't just get back on that wagon and keep on going. To that end, I thought that I would give you a fitness update and take you on a typical upper body workout day with me and show you just how much being out of it for two months can deteriorate your progress and can make you feel like absolute crap. Hey, what are you gonna do? You gotta show up and do the work. So let's go work out. We started off the workout with a dumbbell bench press to activate those lats and get those arms firing. We then went into a reverse row with a barbell. This was also to activate those lats and get them ready for the pull up. I still have one pull up left in me. And then we went on to doing some pull ups with the elastic band let my girl Bridget Jones take it from here. At times like this, continuing with one's life seems impossible. A little break always makes me happy. We ran into a weighted sumo squat, followed by the death trap. Dips. Rhino making it look easy as pie and I'm doing the opposite. Push through, one more. We then went into some shoulder presses. This is a move that makes you feel really powerful and excited. Followed by some ab work. So it's nice to have it at the end of the workout because you still feel like you have strength left in you. The last set of the workout was Skull Crushers, titled very appropriately, followed by a few sets of Toe to Bar. Yes, that was the first time I was trying it, so I look super graceful right now. And because we survived it and we did not die, we had to do a freeze frame high five. Although I feel like I'm struggling right now to get back to that place where I felt 100% every time I got to the gym. In a few weeks, I'm gonna get back into things and it's gonna start feeling awesome again. So I can't wait to keep giving you guys updates and taking you along for the ride because I feel like I'm so close to getting to where I want my body to be in terms of fat loss. It's gonna be a good day when I get there. So I wanna take you all for the ride with me. Before I sign off, I just wanna say that if you're in a slump or you're hitting a plateau or you're not able to find the amount of time or motivation or whatever it is that you need towards going forward towards your goals, just remember that you're human and that all you can do is give it your best shot. Give every day your all, whatever level your all might be on that day. Take it one day at a time and I know for a fact that you're gonna get there wherever there is. Just keep going and don't quit. Thank you all again for 
watching, your comments, they mean so much to me. They keep me so motivated and excited to continue vlogging. I'm working on lots of new content for all of you for the rest of the month and the months to come and I just cannot wait to continue sharing with all of you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it really supports my channel. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week.